So the prophet taught us one of his last speeches, there is no superiority of a black man over a white man, or a white man over a black man. There's no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab, and there's no superiority of a non-Arab over an Arab. The only superiority is taqwa, it's righteousness, it's the fear of God. You want to do something? You want to outdo somebody? Outdo someone in the worship of God, in the belief of God, in the righteousness of God. This is what he was teaching us. And then the prophet said, Ayyuhan nas, an nas, kulluhum banu Adam, wa Adam min turab. Mankind, all of them, all of us, are the children of Adam. And Adam was created of, of mud. We're mud people. You're mud people, man. Serious. You dust. Yeah. I mean, really, think about what we are. What, we, what are we? What are we? You think about it. You know, think about how, how intelligent we are, and we got computers, and we do all these things, and we got missiles, and we got all of these things, but all of us are the creatures of God. And really, all we are is what God created us to be. Wait, what, what are you? You are, you are mud, man. And he said, kun fire kun, being it is. And then you became a living soul. You ain't no big thing. And then what Allah does to show you, he caused a reversal. You live long enough, you're going to be reversed. My brother here, I bet you you play basketball, right? You look like you play basketball. How tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. Malcolm was like that. You thought Malcolm could play basketball, right? No, nope, couldn't do it. He was awkward. Then he tried boxing, couldn't do it. But my brother, as strong as he is, I believe he's strong and powerful. I believe he can beat me in basketball almost. I really, almost, I, do, I really believe that. I really believe that. But the fact of the matter is, no matter how strong you get, one day, God will reverse it. I don't care how beautiful the woman looks. She's, she's one, everybody, oh, look how beautiful she is. Okay, wait 10 years. I'm serious. Wait 15, okay, I'm waiting, all right. Just about now. Then take another look. Because the one who gave it to you, take it, take it back from you. Name the richest person. Bill Gates. How much money he have? How many billions of dollars does he have? One day, he will have nothing. What do you mean? When you die, you have nothing left. Think about it. The computer that you own one day will be somebody else's computer if you don't use it up. The car that you have, the house that you have, and your family, as much as they love you, they will go to your funeral. They will go to your burial, but they won't stay there. You will be buried, and they'll turn around, and they'll walk back. That's the way God is. He has a way of humbling us. In the same way God humbles individuals, God humbles nations. Great nations, God can humble them and bring them down to nothing.